Okay, obviously before starting, what we can do is we've got a nice wide brush here. So what I like to do is try and get just a little bit of a blur going on, softening off everything that we have done. Obviously this is what you can do with oil, you can't do it with acrylic. What it's doing is it's just softening off all the edges that we had. And just, it's a very, very soft brush, but gives a nice sort of a, a general blur. And the same down here, just gives some softer edges as a starting point. Okay, then we're going to continue like we did yesterday with the next step, which is going to be going lighter, even lighter than we were. Um, yesterday so that we get right into the very in intricacies of things. So I'm going to take that white and put it straight into that color that we were using yesterday. And now we're going radically lighter. Right, so we're just going to take that. It's going to be almost white. And it's really quite a wicked color. And uh, it's the same color that we've been using but it's really going down to, and it's not yet going to be the lightest version that we're going with, but it's certainly getting close to being near the lightest that we'll go with. And with that, what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be looking at some of the fine detail that exists in this particular piece. We'll see that in order to, to get some good detail going with the with the leaves, all right, you you are going to be able to pick up again tiny little edges that exist on top of and around all these other little elements here. So each of these leaves has got highlights. Now at the same time, you're recognizing that there is still that light sky that's coming through but with this fine detail now we are picking up all the things and what it's going to do is it's actually going to lighten up the entire painting and you can pick up branches that may be coming down let me just do that one more time that's a sneaky little trick that you can use is when you have the paint on the brush you're wanting it to to come down and you can just twirl your brush so that it takes the paint off quite nicely. Sometimes when you just go straight, it doesn't bring enough of the paint off. So you've got to almost just keep keep it twisting and it allows for that very thin line to, to come off. It takes the paint off all sorts. In, instead of just going straight, you've only got that one face of the, and then eventually the paint comes off. If we keep turning the brush around, it tends to allow all the paint to come off. And so we're getting those tiny little bits of and you're turning the paint as you are the paintbrush as you are putting that stuff down just like we did yesterday I'm not looking for any individual leaves so to speak what I am doing is to the best best part I'm going to try and look and see where that middle tone brown was and put it on top of that and also make sure that the whole time I'm working I'm thinking these leaves are hanging over so the gravity is acting down on them and so you'll get stuff hanging over, all right? And so what we're doing is we're trying to, to just get the leaves to either point downwards rather than just all being dots. You're not just doing dots everywhere. You're wanting to make sure that there is actual structure to everything that you're doing. Okay, so what we can do now, I'm going to look in creating this light and go through the entire painting. We're going to do that with a little bit of a time lapse so that we can save you time, saving you money, putting you first and get through that. Once we've done that then we'll come back and look at where else. We're going to time lapse it here and then we're also going to time lapse it down in the foreground underneath the trees in the leaves that have fallen in the avenues. What we're also going to do is use some of that lighter color on the sides of branches so just like I showed you there, we're going to try and get it to come out off the sides of branches as well. Treating this entire canvas with this one particular color.
Right, from that light brown now we're just going to go straight in with white. Literally white, with whatever's left over on your brush. You do get a, a tinge of that um, lighter colour, but now it's just going to be pure white. And there might be a subtle difference, but it is the essentially the, the, the ultimate is to have that little specks of white coming through pure white it might not look any different but it is it is the the, the, the final sort of bits of highlight that you can throw in may not look like there is a difference but there is and it is that subtle difference that will really make the and again, you're not obliterating, you're just putting in a couple of highlights where there would be that bright sunshine clipping the side of thing of these trees here. You'll get it on the on the sides of the stem and we get that little branch coming through. And these are sort of some real nice highlights that will bump up the edge of the artwork. And you can get that sort of highlights, those highlights to come throughout the artwork. If you take it right up into these, into the foreground trees here, where you're just going to drag a couple of branches uh, through that are those white, white highlights. Because you, you're looking to get a, a, a real sense of, of the strongest possible contrast. So once we go from this light, Tomorrow, the well, the next step, the final step would be to bring in some of your strongest. You'll bring your darks back again to get some some real dark highlights, and also want to bring in a fence on the side here, and maybe a couple of finer details that we can throw in just to give it a a greater sense of of depth and detail. So you're looking at the formal elements all of the time: line, tone, color, pattern, shape, composition. Uh, and the different elements of art that you can use in order to create those. Your cooler colors in the background, your lighter versus your darker, um, and your strong contrast, we can get definitely some stronger contrast to come in throughout the artwork. And so that uh, entire time we're wanting to be, to be looking through. Everyone's is going to be different. Everyone's is going to, to look different and um, one is no writer than the other. Or, um, it's all individual interpretation, individual brush strokes that is going to create the individual language of it all. But if there were to be one thing that would be true, it would be to try and get... Uh, if you're going to put something on, you're going to try and give it a sense that it's not going to stand out. So there's not going to be anything that is going to just... Well, that ends up being the subject matter of the painting. We want the entire painting. To be the subject matter so nothing really uh, ends up taking the limelight because what happens with that is that it, it tends to sometimes cause a little bit of carnage and one loses focus right so tomorrow or the next step in this painting is going to be uh, bringing back some of the stronger contrasts and some of the lighter yellow leaves and um, the fence coming in which we will be able to 